hello my stitchers this is the video on how to make an umbrella frock and uh, we get going with the cutting the bodies the skirt and sleeves and stitching all the pieces together joining all the pieces and getting the complete picture of this video by 10 and a half meter fabric We cut the bodies first. I laid two layers of fabric, fold it to cut front and back part of bodies together. Mark shoulder plus one fourth of an inch. Neck width two and a half inch or chest by twelve. Shape the back neck. Front neck length 3 inch and shape the front neck as well. When the neck is small, we keep a placket either in front or in back. Here, I am keeping a placket of 6.5 inches long. Armhole at 7.5. Waist length is 14.5 and, and the total length of the body is 15 inches that we want so we are keeping it 15 and a half chest into 4 plus 1 and a half inch so we are keeping it 9 and a half armhole mark on chest line is 1 inch less than the width of shoulder shoulder we have taken is 7 and 1 fourth so we keep armhole mark at 6 and 1 fourth join it with shoulders Take half inch down from the shoulder and join it with the neck. Take one inch up from chest point, midpoint of armhole length. This midpoint would go half inch inside. Now shape the front armhole. After shaping the front armhole, shape back armhole. It would be about half inch outside and on armhole line. Waist would be same as chest minus one fourth of an inch. We'll make four darts of one fourth inch each, two at front and two at back part. It is for good fitting. We mark three inches from folded side and mark four and a half inches long darts. These darts would be traced on the lower part also and there would be two darts at the front and two darts at the back. Now we extend half inches to outside as a seam allowance. Using a tracing wheel, mark on darts and side mark. Cut the outline. Separate the front from the back part. Cut the front armhole and the front neck. When the neck is small or dress is tight, we keep front or back placket. Therefore, we cut 6.5 inches long for placket. This is the trickiest part of making this skirt with a joint, so keep watching because not many people would tell you about this. We lay the fabric in such a manner that top side and right sides are closed but left sides and down sides are open. This skirt is cut without a seam at the circumference but here we have insufficient width of fabric. So I am cutting it in two pieces and joining them together. We'll add the width by adding a joint to this salvage. So, the formula is waist into 6. You divided the, divide the waist by 6 and add 1 fourth of an inch to it. Or I, I, I show you one more way how to, you can do it. If your uh, uh, bodice is without darts, you can just simply keep this uh, bodice like this and mark this way. And without any calculation, you can simply make a circle and mark your waist or by going by the formula 
you can just make it waist into 6 plus 1 fourth of an inch and give it a shape either way you can do it if you are doing it by keeping this to, this uh, waist this body is then you need to stitch the darts first and stitch the sides so that you get the exact waist circum circumference that should be needed for the skirt and then you can mark it that way also you can get the exact measurements because in any way you don't have to stitch, stitch the sides of the skirt and then you cut it you can mark your circular skirt with all angles equal you can mark your skirt full length either before cutting the waist or you can now mark skirt length all sides should be equal if you start measuring the length from the corner it would be full length minus body length plus 5 inches plus half inch for the seam allowance but after cutting the waist it would be just full length like your waist till your ankle or whatever desired uh, skirt length you want plus 1 inch only this is a winter gown I am making so I am keeping the sleeves but it's optional for you if you want you keep otherwise not fold the fabric in such a way that the widest part and open side is towards you and place the back side of the body on top of it and make a mark on the armhole of this back body placing the back part nicely chuck out the armhole for a full sleeve you take full length of the sleeve plus two inches half inches is for shoulder stitch and one and a half inch is for bot sleeve bottom fold take a midpoint of this curve and Make a mirror image of a slight elf. By this method, you can take any length of the sleeve, short, long, quarter, any length of the sleeve you can mark. Sorry I forgot to adjust the camera but I know that you can take half of your sleeve bottom and make it uh, join from this armhole end. Out of this line take 1 inch seam allowance. This is one of the simplest way to cut a sleeve and uh, now we will be cutting the outline of this sleeve. Be careful, cut the outline only and make a notch on top of the sleeve. Cut from the bottom also. I know you are not able to see the bottom but still cut your sleeve bottom. Now we'll cut the front part of the sleeve. So make it a little curvy and cut it like this. Make a notch so you can identify which is the right side of this sleeve. You can make this placket in full or in half. For adults it's an option but for kids you must make this placket. So we cut two strips of seven and a half inch length these strips for button stand or hook stand are cut alongside the salvage but as you can see i'm not cutting it along the salvage rather i'm cutting that uh, salvage part i'm going to throw that i'm i'll be taking the nicer piece of the fabric and uh, because this is a very very thick fabric so i'm not cutting it alongside the salvage secondly you can see we cut two strips one is three inch wide and another is 
1.5 inches wide. These are 1 inch longer than the cut we had made on the bodice. Now we have two strips. We'll stitch one and a half inch wide strip on right side of the bodice and fold it on the wrong side. So place this one and a half inch wide strip on right side, right side of the fabric that is the nicer side of the fabric and after stitching till the point till the end where we've marked fold it on the towards the wrong side of the fabric that is inside the part which touches your body we make a tiny cut where the stitch ends for turning this placket easily inside now make a neat nice stitch top stitch on this narrower placket which we have stitched a mark where you want this stitch to end till this cut end of this cut then it will be easier for you to end this stitch now we reverse the process with this 3 inch wide strip because we stitch 3 inch wide strip on wrong side of this cut and fold it on the towards the right side of the body that is the pretty side of your dress the process would be the same just the size would change so just keep this in mind and do exactly so what exactly what you had done earlier just Remember the sides, which side, wrong side, right side, which side, which I have already told you. See how nice it looks, isn't it? Here, because this is the top uh, side of the placket, it, this side would be covering the lower part. We make this mark so that we can fasten the ends so that this doesn't pucker up and it is all that nice neat beautiful and we make a stitch on it and I'll show you how to make multiple stitches on this this X that I marked here fold at the end of it and just turn around a little bit fold and straight stitch then right turn then left turn then right turn left turn a few turns like that and then when it is fastened then your this packet will be done the basic thing see life is full of so many turns so is this placket so make a few turns and this uh, placket would be done and then I'd show you how to beautify around it and though you can uh, make you can stitch a lace on this top layer top uh, strip of this uh, placket you can beautify, beautify it even later now this neck Placket is done. You cut the extra fabric which is coming out, and you can use a bias tape. You can use a collar with on this neck after joining the shoulders, and it will look very beautiful. But I show you that uh, I'll be using a lace to beautify it around this placket. You can use the beads, embroidery, uh, anchor threads, any designs you can use to make around this placket. We mark these dots. These are one fourth inch uh, wide and uh, four and a half inch long. So start from the wider part and 
end at this narrower part and uh, make two knots at the narrowest uh, part L like these there are two dots in the front and two dots at the back make all these four dots complete like this this dress can be made without the dots but these dots give you a very good fitting so i recommend that you make now comes the important part of joining the shoulders and finishing the neckline you can use the collars or just use the bias tape I got this old scarf. You can use any muffler or anything. This, or you can use a stole also. So I just fold it. The corners of the scarf are hemmed, roll hemmed, but you can stitch them, the corners, and folding it in the middle of it. You just using a chalk, you make a mark, and on the collar of uh, your bodies also, you. Make a mark in the middle of it. Aligning this mark on the collar and on the neck, I'd be just stitching this mark on the. This is the inside mark, and I'll be stitching all around this neck of the bodies. So here we go. All round, round, round till the end of the neck, and we repeat the same thing on the other side. We we have started from the middle of the neck, and when we cover up this side, same way we'll be covering the other side also, and I'll be stopping at the end of this neck. You can even make a stand collar or any kind of collar, or even you can uh, use bias tape to finish up this neck or. Or make make it just as beautiful as you want. Now is the simpler part. Fold one and a half inch inside of the sleeve and join it with the armhole. Now stitch this sleeve with the armhole, and all the right sides would be inside and wrong sides would be outside. Uh, there is a notch on in the middle of the sleeve. Be sure that uh, it comes in alignment with the shoulder stitch and stitch the sleeve all around this armhole. It will fit. If it doesn't, then pull your sleeve a little bit. We'll start stitching from the bottom of the sleeve and. Both the sides of the bodies will stitch the same way, and this way, our bodies would be complete. And then we will stitch this bodies with the frock, your uh, skirt, and then the frock would be complete. Our skirt was cut on two pieces, so we need to stitch this joint first. If we spread our skirt on a flat surface, it would look something like this. This uh, round is the waist, and the salvage part is what we'd be stitching, keeping one part on the other. But make sure you have to stitch away from the salvage so that the salvage is overlapping each other. Now the front side of the skirt would look uh, plain without the joint, but the back side of the skirt would have this joint. Would when are when it would be ironed, it would be. Neat and nice, and it wouldn't make much difference to the look. Now the bodies and skirt are ready, and we'll place them the right sides out, and open this skirt so that it covers the bodies, and we take out the body from the circle of this waist. If you want, you can pin them. Otherwise, just by holding them, the skirt. With the bodies, we can just make a clear, nice round stitch joining them together.
now the last part is to fold the bottom of the skirt so I folded half of an inch just take only a smaller part of the uh, fold and then stitch on it and then move ahead and stitch on the fold and stitch on the whole of the skirt I hope you like this video now comment share with your friends subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and keep watching for more goodbye bye bye